How's it going? Okay, so I'm gonna make a very very quick video about how Trindemir can beat the Trindemir, right? Because I see a lot of guys, they... I think like, I'm hoping that Trindemir grows in popularity because it's actually quite fun to play mirror match of Trinda versus Trinda. Like it's quite technical, right? Okay, so I'm just gonna list probably all of them. That's what I'm gonna do. With explanations, right? Okay, so the first, let's say we're gonna write down you do not control, right? So this is outside of your control, right? Okay. So, build order win, right? So, S tier build would be uh, Guardian Hammer plus Armor plus three pots, all right? A second one would be Hammer plus Long Sword plus two pots. Now this one I'm still experimenting. I probably put it as an eight tier. It's plus dagger plus um, three pots. I'll tell you why it's not an S tier, right? Because dagger gets hard countered by armor. Hard countered. Because if somebody goes with hammer armor and you go hammer dagger everything else being the same, they win. I don't know why that is. I tried it, we tested it multiple times, and armor just wins. This one, uh, Hammer Longsword, seems to be slightly... It seems to be as good as armor, only for me personally, I win more with armor. I don't know why. I lost games to people with long, right? But overall, armor, I don't know, just I think it wins, but I, I don't know. This is just a mystery to me. But I know for sure that this would be, like, very good, right? And then I'd say, like, I'd say maybe this is A+. plus. Because if you go A dagger, you can play against longsword. Like, you can just play, right? And then I'd say one is A, T, I'd say maybe A- minus would be horn... Plus dagger. Plus three pots. That one is also surprisingly good. But. Honestly. If you are a slightly more defensive player. Go with hammer plus armor. If you are a slightly more aggressive player. Go with hammer and long. That's it. Right. Why I'd say maybe armor is a little bit better. Because you get extra pot in here. That might be a bit. Oh yeah yeah. That might be a bit better. But generally speaking, these two builds, I don't know. I rarely see them, and most of the time they don't really work at all. So that's what I'm saying, is that everything else being the same, you face a guy, he starts like this guy, some weird shit, like this, you just auto-win. It's an auto-win for you. If you lose this, dude, you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta practice how you play, you know? You just cannot lose this stuff. Okay, then, rune win... Rune wins, right? So, again, in runes, you want to go... Honestly, there's only one way to play the runes. There's... Oh, there's nothing better than this. That's the page, basically, you see? Now, this is debatable. Some people say bone plating is better. I say no, no. I say second win is better. Some people take this. I say no, 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 no. You need to revitalize. Now this is undisputably the best. Now this one and this one debatable. Right. And then this one versus this one. Armor is definitely better. Now for beginners. I'd say probably this rune page is better. With armor. Because... It's much easier to deal with shit like uh, Renekton and Volibear when you have this extra armor. And Varvik is another one. Fiora is another one. But if you're a little bit more experienced, you can um, play with a bit more damage because you can finish off. 
them quicker, right? So, yeah. Anything outside of this is... is, is you're gonna also win. Right, so the guy goes something like, I don't know, like this. Right, and then sometimes they take this. It's just, it's an auto win for you. Okay. Alright, so we discussed this. Rune win. Well, I'm not going to include them trolling. What else can happen? Well, him fighting in your minion wave. You win, that's natural, right? You have more fury. Now this is question like you can say you are control in control in here. But it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter. You have more fury. Uh, you win. Okay? Now this one is very important. You attack first. You win because you have one extra lethal tempo because his one comes up. Okay? Um, you spin damage first. Now, this one you win because, you see, once you spin into him and you attack him, you already done damage to him with your spin and you already auto'd. He still has to spin into you. And your spin is gonna come up quicker than his. Um, than his, yeah. So sometimes, if, if it's like, if there are no crits, in the fight at all, which is happens rarely, but happens sometimes. Sometimes your spin comes up, right? One second faster than his, and you just you just execute him, right? All all being equal because you start with the spin, right? Another one is you W first, you also win, right? Because but you have to be in proximity so you can order him. As soon, as soon as you W, because W does not reset your auto attack, right? So, imagine, like, you reduce his, you reduce his AD, you have to auto attack him straight away, because him using W um, is expensive in that fight, because he's gonna miss an auto attack as a result of him doubling you. Does that make sense? So, you're gonna win by one auto attack. And... Um, you gonna do more damage to him than him he to you because he has reduced AD. You have to remember W reduces AD, right? So ID, in ideal situation, you W you spin into him and you just right click him to death. That's it, right? Because look, you you fulfilled all the three conditions. You spin damage him first. You W and you were the first one to hit him, right? Now, when you spin into him, probably he's going to be the first to hit you. But, um, you have to remember, under under influence of W, Trindamir does spaghetti damage with no fury, right? So that first auto, although it gives him a bit of lethal tempo, is not that relevant, right? Now, the ideal situation, the ideal situation is if you can W him, right? Then auto, spin, auto... That is, you have to all-in. If you were able to pull this off, this combo, you have to all-in, you win. 100%. Right, 100%. Um, what is another way to win? Level, level up win, right? So, he is... Well, it's level up win, right? If you count the minions, right, you, you, you're gonna hit levels before him. You can win because you're one level higher, right? Uh, relic win is another one how you can win. Basically, the first person who takes the relic, right, gets a uh, free auto, right? Because the relic is going to heal you. Because you have to remember how the relic works in a RAM, right? RAM, relic, I think, right? Yeah, because when you take it, you get health, all right? Do you see? 
health restore on pickup 8% of missing health right and then then the beam heals you right so if you pick up the relic first right you get this 8% missing health which is which translates roughly into one auto attack right so if there's like a relic dude you need to run into it right ASAP you have to take it first because you get a free auto attack as a result right so that's a free auto what else um I also noticed that minions pushing into your turret. For some reason, when I play, it's it's an advantage for Trindamir to if it's Trindamir versus Trindamir and minions are under your turret. For some reason, it's much easier to win. Like most of my wins are, I'd say when his minions are pushing into me. I don't know, I just observed it. And I think that's because for him to harass you, he has to be under the turret, right? So you can free hit him, right? And he has to spin away when he orders you, because if he orders you... Remember, Trindamir's auto attack range is very bad. In fact, it's the worst in the game. Uh, he's one of those shitty champions that nobody knows about, but his auto attack range is actually extremely bad. Like, I'll give you an example. Look. Not, not a lot of people know that, but that's actually a problem with Trindamir. It's actually a big problem. That's why uh, beginners struggle to play him, because, look. Attack range, 125. Now, compared to Darius. 175 so he has 50 attack range on you i'll give you another one which is um let's say let's look at um yina i think is let's see i suspect he has because i sometimes able to like sometimes master Yi can auto attack me and run away and i'm like i can't re retaliate right yeah you see the problem Let's see, maybe Garen. Well, I'm pretty sure he also has 175 auto attack range. But I don't know if you add um, if you add if you give Trindamir 175 attack range, I, I don't know if it's going to be balanced. Yeah, you see 175. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you give him that attack range I think is going to be imbalanced because he can then auto you and spin away for free too much you know but there you there you have it right you see um attack range is a bit of a problem so you see for him that's why it's an advantage like Darius doesn't give a shit because he has a range right and on his W, he gets uh, 25 bonus, right? So his range is like 200, right? So he can smack you and just walk away. And he'll be outside of turret range. Garen is the same. He can Q you and run away. He'll be outside of the turret range. But Trindamir will usually get hit by the turret, right? Very, very frequently. So uh, try to get him to push into you, but don't fall behind on minions, right? So what I'm saying is... Minions are pushing to a turret, you can probably win off that, right? What else? Um, wrong summoners. So, you have to have Ignite. Have to have it, right? And then, debatable. Some people like Ghost, some people go, go Flash. I personally like Ghost, right? But if he has something like Flash and Ghost, you're probably going to win, right? Now, if he has Flash and Ghost... The issue for him is he cannot fight you, but the issue for you, you cannot kill him. Like, I had that problem with some good players. In here, you have to basically freeze the lane. Like, it's it's pointless, because you see, Trindamir with his spin, right, with Ghost and with Flash, he can cover so much distance so quickly, you just 
by the time you catch up to him, you'll be under his turret, and then it's it's a bit of a problem. So in here you have to freeze the lane. You have to freeze the lane. There's no other way. You basically have to do 100 CS win. Uh, well, 100 CS or... Six, I, I do 65 CS. Like, you have to win by 65 CS because it's too difficult. Like, this Ghost and Flash BS, it's way, way too difficult to, to dive this with, or, or to kill it. It's just way too too hard. But, uh, but 65 CS is easy because he literally cannot fight you. Literally. Because as soon as he approaches, you just all in him and that's it. And he has to burn Flash and Ghost. He has to. Because otherwise you're just going to blow him up, right? Especially early levels. Like in here, you have to abuse the fact that he cannot fight you. So you have to control the wave in such a way. You're going to win by like... Now, Trindemir versus Trindemir is very hard to farm overall. Because Trindemir is a good farmer. I'll tell you that, right? So you're not going to win by like 50 CS. When you play against like some Z player, right? You're going to win by like maybe 10, 20 CS max. But still, it's going to be a win, right? Okay, what else? Let me just think. I had a list somewhere here not so long ago. Let me just see. Eh. Let me just pause the video and find out one second. Yeah, I found my notes in Trinidad versus Trinidad Matcher, but I already covered all, all the points. Huh. How else can you win Trinidad versus Trinidad? Well, him fighting in minion wave and trolling, that's another one. Okay. Well, another one is he gets hit by a turret, right? So he gets hit by a turret. This is kind of this condition here, but I mean, just be 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 wary of it, right? Remember, you're playing mirror matchup. He gets hit by a turret. You have to all in. That's it, right? Because he will lose because he has less health, right? I would possibly say if your first auto is a crit I'd probably gamble and go in honestly right because I mean to be honest with you I, I, I'm surprised how balanced the RNG in Trinda versus Trinda is because a couple of times I remember like this guy critted me twice and then I watched the replay and I also critted him twice <laughs> right so I was like oh my god like how did how did he lose right and I was like wait and I created him twice as well. Because I, I like I remember he created me like twice and I was like, Oh I'm gonna lose for sure. And then somehow um E execute is uh, like I, I don't know if it's a mechanic, but I mean there is a thing about E execution. Okay. So if your E is coming up, right? Basically, E is a lot... Now, this is kind of... Um, I, I'm going to put them maybe in a separate category. Because these are unconfirmed. Unconfirmed. Um, these are kind of dodgy. They're not... S that This shit in here is solid. Right? Because you can kind of... How to say... Uh, if you see this, you win. Right? If you see this, you win. Whereas this stuff in here is a bit... Um, I can't really guarantee. Do you know what I mean? Can't really... So this is experimental. You ha you gotta practice this. I don't know. I, I can't confirm it yet. If you crit, but I would say gamble. If you crit first, if your first auto is a crit, go go for it. Right, go for it. Right. Especially, I'd say, like I can confirm, because you see, if you crit first on low fury. Crit generates more fury, so you will have higher chance of critting again than he does because crit by itself generates more fury, right? So I'd say this is a um, this is a good indicator that you're probably gonna win, right? But it's RNG again. Now E execution, E basically deals damage faster than auto, okay? 
like this is you have to play Trindamir for like ten thousand plus games, I'd say. You will notice that E does damage instantly. If the person is in prox is in close proximity to you, your E just does instantaneous damage. As soon as you click it, it's like instant comes off, right? Whereas an auto attack has a slight delay, slight delay, right? So we're talking like both of you are gonna die from either auto or E. If you press E and he presses an auto, you win because your damage comes off quicker. Does that make sense? And of course, then you heal with your... Uh, but normally, like, as soon as he dies, he can't really damage anymore. However, I have seen situations where I E him and his auto attack after my E goes through, but you still win because you kill him first. Does that make sense? Right, so... This is kind of slightly mechanical. I don't expect people who are not Trindamir mains to be able to do it, but Trindamir mains will say, I mean, I know exactly what you're talking about. Because when you're fighting against Darius, every step, every, like, shit, like, Dar Darius, like, I'm telling you, when you're fighting against Darius, you're, like, under stress, because, oh my god, oh my god, if you misclick somewhere, he's gonna kill you, basically, right? So, E is, like, your saving grace in situations like this, right? You want to execute him ASAP to stop that stupid bleed of his and his ridiculous damage, right? So, Trinda means are gonna say, oh yes, I know exactly what this guy is talking about, right? Okay, what else I'm thinking about? How you can win? Aram, let me see. Turret, I don't. Turret in Trinda versus Trinda, impossible to take. Completely impossible. Well, I did. I did one time. Actually, that's kind of a mechanical win as well. Look, if you have a large minion wave, like large minion wave, okay? Now, this will work with sig severely inexperienced Trindamir. I'm talking probably like maybe silver, bronze level, right? Okay, if you have a large minion wave, start auto attacking his turret, right? I'm talking like you have 12 minions and a cannon. Now, he is going to attack you. Okay? What's going to happen? His mi Your minions are going to start attacking him. Right? So, you kind of retreat, but stay in the range of minions. Okay? So, what does that do? Right? Now, some Trinimirs just think they won because they ordered you twice. Right? And they don't understand the minion aggro. So, pretend that you're running away and then turn on him. Right? That's kind of, um, I don't know, it's gameplay. You, you gotta learn how to do that. But, like, you see, he's probably gonna spin into you. But your minions are attacking him. Right? And then, if it's level 5, you can kind of catch him with your W and all in him. Because double minion wave with a cannon does ridiculous amounts of damage ridiculous like stupid amount of damage right so this is like this win here where he's fighting in your minion wave right now i've seen i won some games like this but i mean honestly it doesn't work against good players because they understand minion aggro big time right i'm just trying to figure out every possible way you could possibly imagine winning trindemir's trindemir well, another one is he cancels an auto. So... He cancels an auto. He misses his spin. He doesn't EU. Oh! Now, this is hard to tell, to be honest with you. He levels wrong ability, right? So, ability level up is like this W is better than E is better than W, right? And you only put one point into R, level 6. And then R is like obsolete at that point, right? You don't need R anymore. Now, you can spot that he's not putting points into his Q if he's healing his shit, right? If he's not healing well, he's probably leveling up W. Oh, he's probably leveling up E. 
at that point you win. You like just hard win. But I mean, it's very hard to spot. Honestly, I've I was never able to tell what Trin what our Trindamir is doing in terms of abilities. It's not very easy. It's not like Lee Sin where he's not using his W, right? <laughs> or his Q. You're like, oh, dude, this guy has never queued me in the whole game. All right, he's probably not leveling up Q. Trinda, it's not like that. Okay, what else we can think about? Honestly, I think that's about it. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's about it. I'll just put this up. Trinda versus Trinda win conditions. Um in case let's see. Anyone with the link. Okay. Alright, so that's about it. Let me just share. Oh, copy the link, okay. Alright, so you have this stuff available, so... The easiest way to win is... Start attacking minions first, because you're gonna have... Uh, well, the easiest way to win, I think, is like... How do I win most of the time, right? I let them push into me. Uh, they have to queue. They, like, they, they queue at some point, they remove their fury. Then I have their minions under my turret. Then I attack them multiple times. Then they mismanage their fury. Honestly, I'd say Trinda versus Trinda is all about Q management, I think. Yeah, I just, I'm just replaying a lot of games that I've won. And it's just about fury management. By... By rule of thumb, you want to keep your fury all the time, right? You can only decrease, you can only use your Q to heal yourself if he's done it, if he has done it first, right? Because, for example, 50% health on full fury Trindamir beats full health Trindamir. Well, I'd say, to be safe, I'd say 60% health. If you're on 60% health and you're full fury... You're gonna be Trindamir on 100% health with no fury. I 100% guarantee you this, right? That's most of the time how I win because people, uh, they, I have like 60% health. I, I'm just replaying the game in my head right now. I have 60% health. I remember that game specifically, right? And he queued. I immediately W him and I all did all in them, right? And then he survived, right? With like almost no HP. And then I froze the lane. And that's it. And I think I then level 6 uh, all in them. Because he was like almost 2 levels behind. And that's about it I think, right? But honestly, it's 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 very skilled. I mean, it's like you, you have no advantages in the matchup. Right? Unless they troll. But like a good player versus a good player. It's really, really boils down to who can manage Q better. And, and minion wave. Minion wave is also very, very important to manage the minion wave. Okay. Um, take care.